Welcome to the Collecting Kites, collecting memories and treasures in New Zealand. Hi guys. Okay, so I bought this what I think is a beautiful beach painting when I was up in Auckland with mum visiting some family. Now, majority of the people that have seen it hate it, but I have an idea. And that idea is to reframe it. So I'm going to show you the picture and show you my idea and see what you think. Here we go. Alrighty, so that is the painting. I think it's fantastic. Let's go down and go down and bend at me. See, isn't that pretty? It's like the hole in the rock and the coromandel, which is kind of, I don't know, reasonably close to where we live. Say a good well, three hours or so. Uh, reasonably close to New Zealand standards. But there we go. So it does have an old frame. See that old, it is a bit um, worn and stuff in places. Now this was $15. What a bargain. So my idea, guys, is to obviously try and get this big, huge, woo. So that's what it's like at the back. It's quite an oldie. It did have some masking tape holding it in that I've tried to peel off a little bit, but I found some scissors. Now, I have bought this relatively inexpensive poster frame from Kmart. Now, that was $25. And Stephen and I did measure, and it will fit inside that, and it's going to have about a 5 centimeter border all the way around. So, I think that actually is going to look quite neat. So, hmm, it's my pretty tree. Oh, look at that. Christmas. So, wish me luck and I'll show you the finished product. Don't know whether it'll be tonight because it is getting on quite late for the kites. We're quite early, early, early to bed people. <laughs> Friday night. Woohoo! living it up <laughs> uh, but yeah I'll let you know how it goes so yeah wish me luck see you later painting reframing 101 with the kites <laughs> I'm no expert but here we go see you later guys alrighty guys so I've enlisted the help of my mum because I think this is a two-person job now this beautiful old painting that mum and everyone else apart from myself hates is going to be reframed now mum has said that we need a lot of tools so we have this thing we've raided Stephen's building drawer in the garage this pokey thing that's sharp and we've got scissors Whew. all right so what we have found in this old back of this painting is it is do you think they're nailed? Yes. Nailed on all the way around and the nails have been smushed over. So Which what shows it's old. Quite yeah. old. Do you reckon? Okay, I think that's so. good. That's a good sign. Because you never there might be a treasure behind it. Mm. Wouldn't that be exciting if we found like a Picasso mm. or something? It would. Uh, anyway, so um here's hoping. So what we're gonna do is we're going to try and lift up those nails using all of the different tools that we have handy. Uh, so, wish us luck. We'll get back to you once we've got the back off. Okay, just get the um, the tool under there and then bend it. Bend. Yeah, safety glasses for this. Bend. Bend and. Oh, okay. Is it working? It is working. So we've only got about 50,000 more to do. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one. Okay, now we were very, very careful, and I don't want children doing this at home. So don't attempt to do what we just did with the building tools on your own. Always get an adult. Okay, that's my disclaimer. Now, we've got all the nails off, and 
This is the first time we've seen it without the frame. Oh, oh. Ta da! Now, this is going to now go in this. Don't you think that's going to pop? Now, the next thing we need to figure out is what color border to put around it. So, there's going to be a five centimeter border all the way around. But doesn't that make that picture look so much better? Looks quite nice with the gray. You reckon the grey? Mm. Okay, so we will now put the amazing painting, which is actually on a very thick board. So do you think that's going to fit in? I'm not sure. Mm. Okay, well we'll try it. And uh, we'll show you how it turns out. Go. Alright, now we need to get Stephen's. This looks like it's a, what are those things? Like a scraper. Plaster. Plaster? Mm, that's what it is. Right, we're getting whew, it's getting hard in here. Don't worry, I won't take my gloves. Uh, right. Whew. Okay, so we came across a wee bit of a problem in that because it's such a thick painting on the card or some sort of board, we didn't know how to like stick it to the glass. So it's going to look not so professional because it has some clear sellotape on two of the corners. But we've got the backing board on. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You're the first to see it. Is it up the right way? Hopefully. No. Oh, yes, it is. Does it look good? That looks brilliant. Does it? Yeah. Is it staying up? Yeah. <gasps> okay, I want to turn it around and have a look now. Oh, it's got the sellotape attached to it. <laughs> Let me just get the sellotape off. Alright. Very good. Let's have a look. That looks amazing. It does. Congratulations. Alrighty, so I am super stoked with how it turned out. Like, that was actually amazing. So I'm going to show you. That is the old frame. And you can just see, I mean, it, we could have painted it. I mean, it's still a neat old frame. We could maybe pop something in there. Maybe mm. one of Jackson's pictures or something. Mm. But this, beautiful mowed gardens outside. It's modernised, isn't it? It really has. Mm. I don't know if the lighting's that good to show that up, but it actually, you can kind of see it's almost got that 3D effect, isn't it? Mm. Thanks, Mum. That was great. Mm. Good. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. See you later, guys.